Well, I think the first issue is loss of availability of data. Uh, it, people automatically think about securing their data, but they often don't consider availability as one of the most important things. So if your business actually needs data to survive, then suddenly do without that data due to a uh, backup failure or a hardware failure or even loss of your internet connection can cause severe consequences. So it's really important that you make sure that you have resilience available. Uh, the second one really is uh, loss of intellectual property. So data that is important to your company, it may be lost through some complicated espionage attack, but far more likely through one of your employees leaving a USB stick in a car park, something like that. It may just have stuff like uh, staff information on, or of course it could have uh, design information that could help your competitors. And the third, probably biggest area is the is an overall trend towards mobilisation, mobile devices. In other words, the data is no longer uh, safe on a desk. It's now on a mobile device mixed up with, with data for people's home lives. And of course, we all know how often phones are lost, left on trains, etc. The most important thing the government can do is ensure that there is a good degree of knowledge transfer. I would say that, working for the Knowledge Transfer Network. Uh, but it's very obvious that it's difficult to uh, start and maintain a small business, especially in today's economic climate. And people need an easy access to information regarding cybersecurity and how they might actually protect themselves. They don't necessarily have the time to learn about it themselves, they just need quick and easy advice to follow.